Hello everyone, you are welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to solve this question I have here on the screen. The question says, determine the tension in the cable AE and the reactions at D and E. So let's look at how we are going to solve this question. So we have this figure here, we have this signage here which has a weight of 32 pounds. We have by AD which has a weight of 10 pounds. Okay. and we have point AE, we have 30 degrees here, 15 degrees, 33 inches, 11 inches, 13 inches, and then 11 inches again. So let's look at how we are going to solve this question. We will start by drawing the free body diagram for the given figure. So this is what you have. This is my point A, this is point B. Then we have the signage here. Okay, so this will be point B, this will be point C. Okay, this has a weight of 32 pounds. And then the bar has a weight of 10 pounds. Okay, so we're going to have the tension the rope to be in this direction. Then that will be labeled as T. And at point D also, we are going to have some reaction forces there okay so let's represent them with dx and then dy okay so this will be our free body diagram for the given figure so now if you look at this figure here if i draw a horizontal line here you will see that you are going to have 15 degrees here and then you are going to have what 30 degrees here so similar you are going to have what 15 degrees here Okay, so from here we can find the component of what the tension force, right? We are going to have Tx to be equal to T cos 15 degrees, and then Ty will be what T sine 15 degrees. Okay, so now to find the tension force and the reaction, the reactions at D and E, what you are going to do is that. We are going to use the equilibrium equations okay so let's start with the first one which is some of the forces in the x-axis direction to be equal to what zero the first force we have in the x-axis direction will be what t cos 15 degrees okay and then the second one will be what dx okay and then this must be equal to what zero Okay, so now let's consider some of the forces in the y axis direction. So for that also, we are going to have T sine 15 degrees, okay, plus dy, okay, and minus this 32 pounds here, okay, minus this 10 pounds here, okay, and this should be equal to what? Zero. So let's name this equation one and then this equation two. So now let's look at the moment, okay? We're going to take moment about point D. So let's look at how we are going to do that. Okay, so taking moment, when we consider the tension force here, okay? The moment of its y component, its y component will be here. We are going to have the x component here. Okay, so let's name this Ty and then this Tx. Okay, so Ty is going to cause a moment in the clockwise direction, and then the perpendicular distance from point D will be what? 11 inches plus 13 inches plus what? 11. And that will give us what? 52 inches. So the moment caused by the y component of the tension force, okay, will be minus T sine. 15 degrees multiplying with the perpendicular distance which was 52 inches okay what about the s component the s component also we are going to have minus t cos 15 degrees okay but what will be its perpendicular distance from point d let's look at something here i'm going to draw a dotted lines here okay to pass through this point okay so we have these dotted lines here so we want to measure this distance here let's name it d 
That's the distance you want to measure. So how do you calculate for D? So let's look at how you're going to calculate for the value of what D. So for D, we're going to have than 30 degrees because the opposite opposite side, which is what D over what the adjacent, right? Which is what this distance here, which is also what 52. 52 inches. Okay. Just like we have at the top there. So divide by 52. So D will be equal to what? 52 can what? 30 degrees. Okay, so the, the perpendicular distance is what? 52 can 30 degrees. This is what you are going to have. Okay, so now let's consider this weight force here. Its perpendicular distance from point D will be what? This 33 inches here. Okay, so you are going to have, and that will cause counterclockwise moment in this direction. So you are going to have plus 32 multiplying what 33 inches okay that's what you're going to have and when you consider these two its perpendicular distance will be half of what the distance we have at the top then then that's what 26 what inches okay so that would be plus 10 multiplying what 26 inches okay that's what you're going to have but when you look at D, Y, and D, S, because they are acting directly at point D, they're not going to cause any moment, okay? So, that will be called what? Zero. So, the only unknown that you know here is what? T, right? That's the only value you don't know. So, let's calculate for T. Let's do that. Let's find the value of what? Sine 15 multiplying 52. Sine 15 multiplying 52. That gives us a value for 13.46. We're going to have 13.46t, right? Minus. And then let's find the value of course 15 multiplying 52 times 30. That'll give us a value of what? Minus 29t, right? Plus. We are going to have 32 multiplying 33 plus 10 multiplying what 26. So this will give us a value of what? 1316, right? That what 1316. We'll have to negate it because how okay. Let's let's just write it 1316. Okay, you should be got to zero. So when we take it to the other side, then we negate it. So we are going to have minus 13.46 minus 129. That gives us minus 42.46t, right? And this will be got to minus 1316. So let's divide both sides by 42.46. Minus 42.46. So this will cancel out this. So let's see what you are going to get for T. We have 1316 divided by 42.46. So that gives us a T to be equal to what? 30.99 pounds. So that's the value of what T. So now that you know T, when you go back to equation 1, you can say we can find what? Dx, right? We are going to have Dx to be equal to what? Minus t cosine of what 15 degrees, right? We know what t is, so that was minus 30.99 multiplying what cosine of what 15 degrees. So that's what we're going to get minus 30.99 multiplying cosine of what 15 degrees. So this will give us dx to be equal to minus 29.93 pounds. Okay. So now it's left with what? dy, right? So let's look at how we are going to find dy. Okay, so for dy, let's continue from here. We know the value of t, right? So you are going to have 30.99 sine 15 degrees, okay? Minus 42 plus what? dy. This should be equal to what? Zero. Okay, so now let's continue. So let's find the value of what, what we have here. We have 30.99 sine of 15 minus what, 42. So that gives us a value of what? Minus 33.38. So we are going to have dy to be equal to 33. That was 33.98, okay, pounds. Okay, so I, I, I subtracted this from this. And then that gives us 
minus this 0 0.289, which is what this value. So now dy is what? That's 0 0.98. Okay, so now we'll be able to find the tension in cable AE and the reactions at D. Okay, so now let's look at how we are going to find the reactions at point E. So what is actually happening is that point E is a cable link, okay? So what will happen is the tension in this cable, okay, will be the same as what? The force acting at what? Point E, okay? So to find the reactions at point E, you can just choose to what? Consider that reaction to be the thing you found, or you can resolve it into what? Its component, which will be what? E, X, and then E, Y, okay? You can choose to be this way too, okay? So if you're resolving it into components, you are going to have Ex to be equal to T cosine of what 15 degrees and then Ey to be equal to what T sine of what 15 degrees, right? You already know what T is. So you're going to have Ex to be equal to 13.99. Okay, multiplying what cosine of what 15 degrees, right? So let's see what you're going to get for Ex. So that would be 13.99 multiplying cosine of what 15 degrees that would be 29.93 pounds okay let's do same for ey for ey that would be 30.99 multiplying sine of what 15 degrees okay so let's see what you're going to get for that that would be 30.99 multiplying what sine of what 15 degrees that gives us a value of what 8.02 pounds okay so this will be the components of what the tension force, okay? And then those are going to be the reaction forces as what E, okay? So you can choose to do this way, or you can just consider the tension force that the tension force value that we found, okay? And then use it as what the reaction at what point E. This is because this is what the cable link, okay? And the reaction force at this point will be due to the tension in the cable, unlike the pin joint that we have at what D. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe and then turn on your notification bell. See you in my next video.